Hey everybody, it's Tom here with uh, Hilltop Machine Works. I've got the fans going out here. It's like middle of July. It's pretty hot, so um, hopefully you can hear me good and there's not this annoying background noise. But anyways, I'll bring you in. Uh, I've got a new project here. <clears throat> Another machinist actually made these, and I think it was on a Home Shop Machinist Forum where um, I'm gonna run with his idea also uh, basically what he did is he made some uh, machine rollers he had access to a big press so he made it out um, of one piece he was able to shape and form it I don't have a big heavy-duty press I just have a your basic 20 ton shot press so the plan is I'm just gonna have to cut it and weld it but what you got here is I picked up these rollers off of a surplus center and they come with come with bearings so I press some bearings in here's here's one so basically what, it's, what it does if you uh, can make out from my um, my CAD drawing here <laughs> um, they're gonna ride like this and they're going to be encapsulated basically quarter inch quarter inch quarter inch on the top and that way you get four of these and put them under a machine in each corner and they'll they'll roll so let me run you over to what i got set up so i picked up a sheet here this is a four inch quarter inch thick so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these out. And uh, once I get these knocked out, I'll bring you back. Alright, time for a little plasma here.
All right, I got her cut down to three inches now. So I got to get her back over to the bandsaw, get her cut down into eight foot sections. So let me knock that out and I'll bring you back. All right, I got all the pieces cut, as you can see. And we're over at the mill. We got it set up. Hopefully you can see it and the uh, lights aren't washing out too bad. So basically what I'm going to do is uh, center drill all these first and I've got it set up so I just flip it and I can rock and roll and get them all done and then I'll uh, come back with the 20 millimeter drill bit and get the holes drilled out. I didn't have a 20 millimeter reamer I didn't feel like buying one and that way I could have drilled it out to close to 20 mil and then reamed it out to be exact but I'm probably going to run a weld bead around each of the drill rod ends so as it sticks out here so it won't matter or I may cut a groove and I got snap rings either one I'm not sure yet but hopefully the holes will be fairly snug so anyways I have the DRO zeroed out and let me uh, knock these out and I'll uh, not bore you with it and I'll bring you back well we got old uh, American Rotary on duty today giving me my three phase power for my mill I appreciate it guys she's hiding down there just a burn if you can see her I made a little shed to try to keep the swarf off of her anyway so we got the Pilot holes all drilled. Let me see if I can get you in so I can get you too washed out here. And we'll uh, knock a couple out here and a little bit of production run. Let's see how wide we can be. need to clean them up a little bit probably uh, deeper the hole and then we'll get them all fit up for welding so let me uh, get that knocked out and I'll bring you guys back all right so I got uh, all the parts drilled and deburred and kind of give you an idea of what's happening here it's kind of taking shape Here's one of them. Now, this top is not going to be here. I'm just using it as a brace to keep everything square. And I'm using my good old fireball tools. Square. This is one of those uh, do it yourself that comes in the kit and you weld it up. And then if you see those other two, they come in the kit also. So you get uh, three squares for uh, about 100 bucks. So it's a really good deal if you get a chance to give fireball uh, some business. 
<clears throat> so I'm going to fire up the trusty miller here and get some tacks in it and then I'm going to flip it up and I'll uh, burn some beads in it. We'll see if uh, the camera will take on getting those beads burned in. So I'll bring you back here in a second. I'll weld it up. Well, here you go. I got one assembled. Let's take a look at uh, the concept here if you didn't visualize it. So, this be one of the machine rollers. So, as you can see, she'll uh, take a bunch of weight. <coughs> Hole is 5 eighths, and what I did is I welded a, a nut on the back of it. I've got just three quarter inch bolts in here for the axles right now because let's see uh, the bearings are metric of course <clears throat> so it's a 20 mil hole so I've got some 20 millimeter drill rod and uh, you know, it's going to take a little bit of a press but uh, it'll go in like there so just to get the concept I'm just using these because they'll fit I've got a spreader in here right now because it's still a little bit warm and she wants to shrink. But I'll give you a look at the inside and there's the bolt. So, and then lastly, I'm going to take this strap material and cut some and weld it right here for some added strength so it won't want to spread on you. And then you get some uh, weight in it. but. Anyways, it's coming along pretty nicely. So, uh, but, uh, nice compact rollers for heavy equipment, as you can see. So, I've got uh, one other one fabbed up. It's kind of cooling right now. 
And then um, Mrs. Hilltop just came home, so it's about 8 o'clock, so time to fire up the grill and cook some dinner. So probably going to call it a night, and we'll come back to this uh, tomorrow. So see you guys. All right, let me get you guys caught up here. So I've got all of them welded up. Hopefully you can see it. And I put a 5 11 5 8 11 nut on the inside so if uh, whatever you're moving doesn't want to ride there wants to slide then you can just run your bolt through and um, hopefully that'll work out good after I welded it all up they've cooled down but they still want to flex in just a little bit so what I did is got all these basically straight wedges and I'm going to uh, weld them in here for a little more strength and keep it from trying to flex in. So once I get that done, then we will move on to the axles. Got them all cut. So I'm ready to rock and roll there. Um, I think just for... Uh, for something different instead of putting them in and buzzing a weld bead on there in case I need, ever needed to service a bearing or one of the wheels gets all chewed up and I need to replace it that way I can pull the axle out and I can do that so I picked up the snap rings and looking at it there like uh, about 40 about 42 thou so I had picked up this uh, Nicole mini grooving kit. I think I got it from Travers when they had a free shipping and you know up to 25% off or something. So it ended up being just a little over a hundred bucks. So it's got a it worked out perfect. I measured them all and wrote them, an 044 thou groove, so that'll work out perfect. So we'll take all these over to the lathe and get them knocked out. And I kind of wanted to do a production run and make it somewhat easy. So instead of doing the three jaw, I ordered. Ah, good old Shars. Gotta love those guys. Good, good tools at a good price. Um, no affiliation with the company. Just like their stuff. I like KBC also. Travers. There's several good people out there that uh, have quality stuff for us home shop machinists and then small business guys. But since these are 20 mil, I need a symmetric 5C collets. So um, that way the plan is I'll throw the uh, 5C collet chip on the on the lathe, and uh, hold on, let me go grab something else. And then Edge Technologies just came out with their new 5C collet stop. Uh, I just whipped out this little box. So, that way to keep them in, I didn't like the plastic packaging that it had. So that way we can get the stop set, I can get it in there, run the grooving tool in, pull it out, stick it in, run the grooving tool in, and it'll all be the same once I uh, face them all to the exact length. So, um... I am going to pull the three jaw off and get the 5C collet on there. And once I get that done, I'll get stuff set up and I'll bring it back and we'll uh, knock out a little lathe work. Well, guess who showed up? Mr. Murphy. Sure enough, I had like, I don't know, 16 inches of weld bead left to lay. You know, <laughs> about four four more of those coupons about two inches each and I run out of wire I've got more wire but you know it just makes me have to stop and redo it so 
you know, you gotta love these things, you know, just gotta roll with it. So, I did not get these wrapped up, so let me get this spool change, and I'm gonna probably go ahead and put a new liner in, since, um, that spool took me about, I don't know, 10 years to go through. So the liner's got 10 years on it and run, that's, that's the big spool, so probably about 50 pounds of wire through it. So figure a new liner can't hurt. So uh, let me get this stuff swapped out and then we can uh, hopefully move on to the lathe. All right, I got you over here at the uh, lathe all set up. Got the 5C collet chuck in. <clears throat> And what we're going to do is uh, knock these little axles out. So let's see. I've got you mounted on the carriage. I got a new uh, new mount system. So we'll see how this works. First, it's going to take a quick face. This a good. Slap the grooving tool in. Zero my DRO. Looks good. Move over about 170, lock the carriage. We're going to go in 35 thou, total 70 thou depth of cut. Snap ring in here. There she is. Look at that, nice and snug. Sweet. All right, let's turn around and we'll get that other one done, and then I'll probably knock out all the rest of them off camera. Don't want to bore you, but it's nice to see a little machine in, anyways. Just had a big old storm come through. We're in the middle of July right now, man. Was it hot? So it's kind of cooled off. There's still a little thunder in the distance. If you happen to hear some rumbling, that's what's going on. I guess if I was doing this all day, one of those quick fussy call closures would be a lot better than this scroll chuck, but hey, it is what it is, right?
70. Carrier's locked. to probably knock the rest of them off camera and then uh, once I get them done I'll bring you back well I've got the axles all knocked out came out pretty good so how many people out there like eBay yeah I love buying off eBay so uh, the jaw calipers wouldn't fit in the groove so I needed a good way to, to measure the groove, make sure I had the right depth for the snap rings. And I um, figured I'd pick up a blade micrometer. I was going to get a cheap import, but the uh, cheapest one I could find was $69 new. And then they wanted like 14 bucks shipping. So I'm mean, going to be like an $83 into it just for a blade mic that I'm going to use once in a blue moon. So I went scrolling down and I found this... Uh, nice stare it zero to one blade mic number 486 it uh, it is nice and smooth it needed calibration no big deal I got my gauge box out and I calibrated it but uh, picked it up for forty dollars and it was like three dollars and seventy five cents to ship so figured that was a good deal it uh, didn't come with a box or anything but that's no big deal and um, just knocking these out in production run are pretty close there are a couple that are maybe a thou or two on the large side but um, overall you know they came out came out where they needed to be it's not uh, not a precision measurement anyway anyways so thought that was cool so Figured to give you an update. I'm sitting there watching paint dry right now. So once these get dried, then um, I'm going to put them together and this project will be done. So um, I'll bring you back in a few hours. Alright, I got you over here at the press. Let's so get this project wrapped up. I put the axles in the deep freezer for a couple days so they're about a zero degrees right now so hopefully they've shrunk just a tad bit and we can get these puppies to slide on in You guys can see that there's not much room over here where I got my press so I get the big shop built I have a lot of room to spread this equipment out
other bearing by now. So she's right in the middle, and I think we's good to go. Sweet. Get number two. Pressure would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh well. Just practicing up for the Vegas slots, right? Come on, lucky sevens. Pull that handle. See a little bit better. Hopefully the lighting's pretty good. I didn't backlight it. Figured I had enough in the shop. Where's the hole? Come on. There's the hole. Let's send her home. Looks like we got us 
a roller. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this other three out off camera. And then I'll just uh, bring you back. Alright, getting the last of the snap rings on. And we're going to be able to wrap this project up. There we go. Alright guys, what you think? Got some machine rollers. Or put a heavy duty safe on it and roll it out of your garage or wherever it may be, so I think uh I think it turned out well. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.